just at a park, top of the Morven Hill. There's no one up there, so I'll show you the top. Home of me, isn't it? Whoa. Panicky then, I thought I was going to fly off. Oh, oh gosh. It's not so windy, I think, because there's a box of shells in the wind of it. I was going to go that way to show everyone, but it's too windy up here, so I'm going to go this way over the hill. The hill shelves as the wind. It does get really, although it's May, it gets really, really windy up here. And there was a hailstorm early, which probably that's why I was a bit concerned coming up today. But <clears throat> Fourth of May today, which would have been my nan's birthday, but she died about five years ago, wasn't it? So I was thinking about it actually last night. Yeah. It is nice up here, actually. I don't come up here that often because it's like 14, 15 miles away. But, uh, I actually get to Birmingham by that's more, that's even further, but it's just one straight bus. You just, you just jump on, stay on the bus for an hour, and you're there in Birmingham. Those are the smaller hills over there. Yeah. That's my battery. Risky coming up, I nearly flew off the hill a few times. So, you can. It's safer to go to the gym, but uh, but um, but it's not as intense as the Marble Hills. Because in the gym, I always find in the gym it's a bit easy because if you if you get yourself too if you get too tired, you can find something in the gym that's a bit easier. For instance, the bikes are easier than the treadmill, especially if you're running on the treadmill. With a cross train, um, it's probably a little bit easier than running on the treadmill as well. But up here, there's only what there's only two ways. One is to top and one is to bottom. So there's no other alternative option. So I, I actually find this more more um, difficult than the gym. Town of Morvan's at least 100 metres above sea level. So that's why it looks closer than the rest of Worcestershire. If you look at the rest of Worcestershire, it looks further down. Can you see that? Morvan is about 100, 100 to 150 metres above sea level. Whereas I'm somewhere between, I don't know, maybe close to 300 metres. Uh, somewhere like that. Maybe, no. Or is it close to 400 metres? I'm somewhere between 300 and 400 metres above sea level, which is like about a thousand feet or something above sea level, or just over. Um, the, Mor the town of Morven is at least 300 feet above sea level. So, there you go, more, more useless information. Huh. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I did a pain in my hip earlier, but uh, yesterday, yesterday and today, but it seems to have gone. I thought it'd be worse walking with Malvin Hills, but it's actually made, it's actually disappeared. I don't know. I've probably probably been walking funny or whatever. So I don't usually film this way. There are people who notice. I don't usually film it like that. But I usually go down the other way. A little bit more windier, so it. But as it's very wind, as it's windy, so I don't want to risk it. That wind hits you hard coming out down that slope, but calm down in a minute once I get around this corner. It's actually pushing me down the hill, the wind is. I can feel it on my back, push, I can feel it pushing, pushing me down the hill. That's what I can feel. And on the way up, I can feel it pushing me back down. It's almost like carrying weights up the Malvern Hills. If it's windy, you can feel like carrying weights up the Malvern Hills because you've got that force of, you've got that force of wind pushing you back down.
try each other's 